Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to go through the week ahead analysis. We're going to go through the strength and weakness of the currencies and a couple of charts to watch going into this week. Now, the currency strength meter is showing us a couple of things. One thing is that the dollar has gained a bit of strength. So the dollar is this red line. We can see that it was at the minus seven, which was telling us that it's at a point where it is very weak slash could reverse. The market was at some key areas, especially on the major currency pairs. And we're now starting to see that potentially reverse. So there's a couple of charts that I want to look at um, going into today, mainly focusing around the US dollar this week, because if we are going to see that strength, then there could be some good weekly reversal opportunities. So just going into the charts, we're going to start off with the US dollar index. We're going to have a little look. And the past couple of weeks, we've spoken about the opportunity here due to the fact that um, we've got a little bit of a decent area um, so if I actually just grab a tool we can see that this area in here is showing that the market is almost slowing down as it comes into this key support in point and last week we spoke about the, the past two candlesticks showing us that sellers are losing momentum while well, we can see this week we've got a nice doji candlestick showing indecision at this level which suggests that we could start to see some buyers step back into the market so i'm looking for that across a few major currency pairs and the first one we're going to take a look at is euro us dollar we can see that price came up into this overall structure just through here let me just grab that rectangle tool just through here again look at the candlesticks approaching this level we had some strong momentum on the way up now that we've approached this resistance area where we said that this is where a lot of the selling came in before, could we see that happen again? So what I've actually marked out here is a few things. If we just actually go into a, a daily time frame first, we can see that the daily is technically making higher highs and higher lows. But what I've marked out is this week's high and low. And what I want to see is the price break through this low here. If we can break through last week's low, it will show us that the momentum is definitely with the sellers in the market. Now, this might be a little bit of a fake move just to entice some buyers into the market. And we know if the dollar is getting stronger, we should see euro dollar break to the downside. Of course, price could still rally up and hit these previous structure highs or the weekly highs before seeing a move down as well. That is absolutely an option that we could see or even 123, which we've spoken about in the past. But to me, looking at the weekly time frames, the higher time frames, the dollar is getting stronger. So we could see a rollover here in Euro US dollar with a move back down to sort of the 1.2 area. Going on to dollar Swiss then, because obviously Euro dollar and dollar Swiss, um, pretty much inverse charts. We can see that price came back down into this area. Again, this is where the big bullish move came from so we could see buyers stepping back into that point what i like about this again is look at these low range and weekly candlesticks all in a row closing back within each other's range showing us that the sellers are losing momentum here could we get a breakout to the upside that's what i'm kind of looking for here again i've marked up the weekly high because if we just go down into the four hour time frame we can see that price is almost getting a little bit capped in at these previous structure highs just through here so what i'd like to see is price break above those trade above those and then look for those long opportunities on dollar swiss if we did get that change in trend Aussie US dollar is an interesting one. So if we just bring back the strength meter, we can see that down just in here, Aussie is the gray line and dollar is the red line. We're starting to see those two currencies cross over now, which is suggesting a change of the trend. So looking at this market at the moment, though, we're in this massive sort of range. And what we do have is almost like a head and shoulders pattern like this. So if price was to take out 0 0.77, which we've spoken about in the past, we could start to see a reversal in this market. So consider Aussie US dollar for a potential reversal pattern here as well. Thanks for watching the week ahead analysis. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us. Also, 
if you are if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when a new video is posted thanks for watching and i'll speak to you soon